everybody. We have now officially been on this boat longer than our shakedown. We are in uncharted territory. And it is a beautiful day to start. We are actually flipping one. We're actually doing some sailing. Young, old, everything in between. Life is wonderful. Let's go out and have more adventure today. Morning! Thank you very much! It's a lot of fun going all the way up to Norfolk, Virginia. I know! It's out there! Everybody thinks it is super cool. Turns heads like crazy, which is super fun because that is a great conversation starter. Hence the name of the project. I don't know if I had done this on like a normal sailboat or power boat, I may have not had as many conversations as I did. Because half the time people stop to talk about the boat, and then by me talking about the boat, I talk about the project, and the things just kind of divulge from there. So in hindsight, I may have not initially thought of it this way, but it was a good idea that I picked this boat. by about a foot. Thought I was gonna have to uh, call in for it. I got on the list, but I was able to squeak underneath. Hopefully we'll be able to squeak under all the bridges today. With us coming up on high tide, that is not a guarantee. that I'm really starting to notice is the lack of wildlife. Let me be more specific. No dolphins. I've been day five now. Not seen a single dolphin. I haven't seen any sharks. Um, but then also, like, bird-wise. Almost no gulls. Tons of ibis, of course. Tons of fish, I saw that at the marina last night. But you would generally think, okay, Southeast Florida, dolphins, sure, definitely. No manatees either. Any of you live down here in Southeast Florida, you probably have a better perspective on it than me. White ibis, egrets, herons, sure. No gulls though, plenty of pelicans. Ah, and a cloud, a glorious cloud. Glorious shade. Also something I haven't experienced readily during the trip. Probably won't use air conditioning. Getting kind of used to it. These are some massive houses. Look at these. Like this one. And like this one. Check this out. Massive houses.
late change of plans because I made an executive decision. But we made such good time today. I went and took a quick pit stop. Where we're going to continue on past Delray actually. A few more miles because we're doing good on time. It's only 3.45 right now. And I think if we can push for another two hours, then we'll be able to get to an area that has some dockage that is pretty safe and that is pretty secluded to get away from the channel because otherwise we would be anchoring out in one of the areas you see behind me here, one of the open areas, and this would not do well in it. So I'm pushing for that because none of the marinas are going to take us tonight. We're super, they're all super full. I guess two of the four marinas here in Delray are closed for renovations. It means that they're just con they're just pushing everyone else to those other marinas and saying I didn't schedule things in advance, then it's a little bit hard. So I'm gonna try and stay focused. We may actually have a little bit of wind is gonna continue to push us forward a little bit. I think even the tide's with us. I'm not sure. But let's keep going, pushing forward. Harborage. Slightly hectic start to this morning. Because oh my gosh, the bugs are so bad. Now yes, I get it. I'm in a mangrove. I knew they were gonna be bad. When I looked at my bug bites this morning, you would think I almost would have chicken pox. So we have foregone some of our morning routines. I have not brushed my teeth yet. I have not put deodorant on. I have not had breakfast. I have not had coffee. But I wanted to get out on the water, away from these freaking bugs, as soon as possible. And then, and then, we might tie up, tie up somewhere and make some breakfast. Oh my goodness. Let's get out, away from these bugs. Check out this beautiful sunrise. Ta-da. So after a little bug fiasco this morning, I tried to get on the water as soon as I could. With that, that means we got on the water pretty early. I think we were on before 8 o'clock. Um, I honestly didn't check the time. But I'm guessing sometime before 8. But on top of that, I don't think I said this, but we cut out a whole day. We were a day ahead of schedule now, which thankfully my accommodations were very accommodating and letting me come a day early, which even works out even better than before. 
Uh, tonight I'm staying with the Palm Beach Sailing Club. They reached out to me and were super excited about the project and opened their doors to me and that could not be more amazing. But on top of that, the conditions today have been amazing. So I've done maybe 20 minutes of pedaling today, maybe half an hour. The rest of it's just been straight sailing. So I just checked my GPS and it's only 11 o'clock. We've only got four miles left to go today, which means that it averaging like, right now, okay, it's a little slower, like two knots, four nautical miles, two, knot, two hours. We'll be done by one. That'll be great. Not actually on our boat right now which is a great feeling yes i know i love being on the boat but now it's time to do some catch up so i've got all of the gopro footage that i've been filming uploaded to my computer and I'm start doing some editing here so that i can send it off to you guys uh kind of over the next couple of weeks here but i'm gonna try and be doing them in like I would say maybe four or five day chunks so we don't aren't blasted with a hundred videos. But we are docked up here at Palm Beach Sailing Club. They're really great for people here. Charles has been awesome saying that I can use the facilities and on top of that I can sleep on their beach and work and get updated and cleaned up and I've got a free day tomorrow. Super excited. Much needed break. And I'm in actual human street clothes right now. But it's beautiful here. Glad to be in the shade, but it's beautiful. And I've met more boaters and kind of a general consensus I'm hearing is kind of what I'm noticing as well. Sorry, there's birds up there. Is that what I've just gone through is generally considered the least favorite part of the ICW for a lot of people because it's just wall-to-wall -wall mansions and yachts and that's not very fun for us. So hopefully we'll start to open up a little bit more and get a little bit more saleable. We got some time to rest, recoup, and I have an interview this afternoon hopefully and maybe even more. So now let's get to some work and enjoy the rest of our day might go on an adventure tomorrow. So we've got some free time here in Palm Beach, Florida, taking today as a rest day, as well as a bit of a resupply. But there's a super cool place that people over at the Sailing Club were telling me about called Manatee Lagoon. Sounds overall interesting to me. I used to work with manatees when I was an intern over at Moat Marine Lab. If you're in Western Florida, go check that out. Um, so we're just going to explore around. Um, I just went and checked out a uh, Latino food market that I will definitely be eating some fresh fruit from later because that's one of the downsides of being on the water all the time is you have to have pretty much everything be non-perishable so when you can get fresh fruits and vegetables that is awesome it's the first day of not being on the boat since starting the project now i know it's only been six days but it's a nice break to stretch the legs a little bit See the local community. Let's go check out Manatee Lagoon. That slightly changes plans. The Manatee Lagoon Park is closed through the month of March. And Manatee Lagoon is part of FPL, which is Florida Power and Lights, I believe. So there's a power plant. And kind of the reason we have a manatee lagoon next to a power plant is because during the winter, when the water gets really cold, then manatees don't like being in that cold water. 
So what they do instead is they go and find warm water. Now normally what that would mean is that they would go to the hot springs or further in central Florida, like the Gainesville area, or they'd go all the way down to the Keys. Because manatees, their technical name is West Indian manatee. And so, instead, we have artificially created these warm areas that the manatees now go to on a regular basis. So we've basically artificially created manatee habitat. Which is a blessing and a curse. Because the thing is, is when our power plants shut down, say like they need to be upgraded or just they're obsolete, we then are taking away a habitat of these manatees. Which sometimes ends up with manatees dying, and that is a PR nightmare. So I guess we'll have to go find something else to do. Can't be that hard, right? So today we're gonna be doing something that I think is gonna be something I'm gonna try to do every week, and that is to give Time and Tide a good freshwater rinse. So the reason that's important is because we've got so much salt out here that there could be any amount of corrosion and gunk build up around the boat. So we've got freshwater hoses here and we're gonna give her a nice cleaning. But before we need to do that, uh, we need to unload the boat so that we can get all the gear off so we have room to rinse everything down. I think this is gonna be fun. It's a gorgeous day for it too and let's have a little bit of fun by the water. So now that the boat is unloaded, scrub it up dub time. Get her all fresh water cleaned up so she is ready for another week on the water. cleaned up with a freshwater rinse which I'm sure the boat time and tide and I think she very much appreciates it it'll be overall help with the longevity of the boat so that we can be in tip-top shape for the rest of the trip but from here we're gonna go ahead and pack things back up and get on with the rest of our day which includes a lot of boring office work um, mostly figuring out where I'm gonna be anchoring up the next couple of days as well as trying to get some content together you guys for the next couple of weeks but i think i'm gonna go ahead and try and end things here thank you guys so much for watching uh be sure to check out all my social media facebook instagram on my website as well climate kayak and conversation.org and i'll see you guys on the water thanks so much guys